Welcome students. This is part 3 in series of linear equations. We will be taking a look at some of the questions. Solve and check result. For the linear equation 5x plus 9 is equal to 5 plus 3x. So let's take a look at the solution. Now in this equation we have both the variable term and a constant term on both the sides. So let's bring the constant terms on one side and the variable terms on one side. So transposing 3x to left hand side and 9 to right hand side, we obtain 5x minus 3x equal to 5 minus 9, which is equal to 2x equal to minus 4. So again, dividing both sides by 2, we get x equal to minus 2. So x equal to minus 2 is the solution of this equation. But another part of that question is C is to check result. So let us evaluate both the left hand side and right hand side for validating the answer. So left hand side will be equal to 5x plus 9. Substituting the value of x equal to minus 2 here, we get left hand side equal to minus 1. Similarly, for right hand side, the value is 5 plus 3x. Substituting the value of x equal to minus 2, we get 5 plus 3 into minus 2, that is equal to minus 1. So both left hand side and right hand sides are equal. So that proves that our result is correct. Now let's look at another complex problem. So the linear equation is here is 8x plus 4 equal to 3 multiplied by x minus 1 plus 7. So again, let's bring the uh, variable terms on one side and constant terms on another side. So we can write this as 8x plus 4 is equal to 3x minus 3 plus 7. Now transposing 3x to a left hand side and 4 to right hand side, we obtain 8x minus 3x is equal to minus 3 plus 7 minus 4, which is equal to 5x equal to minus 7 plus 7. So that equals to 5x equal to 0. So that means x is equal to 0. So now let us evaluate both the left hand side and right hand side for validating the answer. So the, here the left hand side is equal to 8x plus 4. Substituting the value of x equal to 0, we get 4. Uh, the right hand side is 3 into x minus 1 plus 7. Substituting the value of x equal to 0, we get minus 3 plus 7, that is 4. So both left hand side and right hand sides are okay so that means our result is okay so in these type of complex linear equations we need to bring the variable terms on one side and constant term on another side and then we can validate the solution by evaluating the left hand side and right hand side for more notes and study material please visit our website physicsatlas.com